was going to ask you, is immigration going to be one of the main thrusts of next week? I, I think when you look at next week, you're going you're to look at property tax reform with Senator Gibbons' bill, Senate Bill 711, uh, and then you're going to look at immigration reform, and uh, I think those are the two issues that are going to take up the lion's share of our time next week. What about campaign finance? I think you, I'm going to bring that bill up, and uh, we're certainly going to have some discussion on that and have a vote on campaign finance. Do you have a date for that? I uh, haven't really decided yet. Um, it could be Tuesday. My intentions are to, to probably bring up uh, Senator Gibbons' bill on Monday and spend some time on that. Uh, but uh, it'll probably be Tuesday or Wednesday. But, you know, uh, like I've said in the past, I'm a supporter of, of bringing more transparency and openness uh, to the process. I think when you remove limits, I think it uh, it brings certainly brings more transparency so so that the public can really find out who's funding these campaigns because you guys know how this works. Uh, people shift money all around and you can never really tell where the donation comes from and I think it's good for the public and good for the process to make it uh, more open and more transparent. The uh, Senate perfected the uh, midwifery bill mm -hmm. and they may take it up for third reading as early as Monday. Is that something that you think will, you'll, the House will have time to take up and pass? Well, I, I tell you what, it's getting pretty late to send a bill in that's still got to be worked through the committee process. I'm not saying it's not possible, uh, but uh, it certainly is getting late. I think it probably has the votes on the House side to pass. Uh, if, I, if I was guessing, but uh, certainly it, it, it would have to speed up pretty quick to make it through the process. And, and I mean, you can look at my calendar. We've, we've got a full calendar. We've got bills on there uh, that, that we've got more than what we can go to right now. So uh, it would be an outside chance, in my opinion. So the second injury fund uh, mm -hmm. went down in defeat today. Any possibility of that coming back? No, I, I think the body has spoken, and uh, we spent time on it. And uh, I respect Representative Hunter. He's worked very, very hard on the issue, but I don't expect there's, there's it. Two, there's two bills that are kind of floating out there, mm -hmm. Insure Missouri and mm -hmm. Teacher Pay. Is there mm -hmm. any chance of those? Well, you know, I mean, you know where I stand on Teacher Pay. I'm supportive of it. I was a, I was a co-sponsor of uh, Speaker Jetton's original bill, uh, but when it came out on the floor and, and, and ballooned to $110 million, and, and I removed an issue that was important important to me with regards to Bryce's law and then there was no funding mechanism I, I I wasn't a big fan of it after that now they've got a bill over in the Senate uh, that they're working on if they can send it to me with a funding mechanism that can that we can pay for it uh, I would certainly be receptive to bringing it up and getting a vote on it in term is there any chance at all uh, I tell you what uh, I think there's uh, that's uh, slim and none on in Missouri this year in my opinion if the hospital association agrees to the CON changes, would then you bring it up on the I think that's I think that's probably one of the sticking points. I mean, I think the speakers made it pretty clear, along with Representative Schaaf, who will be the bill handler handler over here, that if it doesn't have some transparency and some competition issues uh, within Insure Missouri, that it's probably not going to fly. And so, if they're opposed to it, it's never going to make it to my calendar. So it really wouldn't matter what I thought. But uh, you know, uh, I think that is a very very low likelihood of happening.